So we have developed your application for years. In uh, 2015, we redesigned it for some reasons. As a part of our new design, we introduced our Cassandra cluster. And the cluster has been running in our, in our production for seven years since then. Right? And one of the reasons we rebuilt our application was to solve the problem we had encountered before. There had been some situations of our application in 2015. One of them was a uh, user of our application might have a large number of conversations. In our application, we define uh, the conversation as an entity in which user can chat with other members. And then the number of user conversations was growing larger and larger. Actually, it was common for our users to have hundreds of conversations and that result in a higher cost of our uh, users login request. Second, there were situations in which uh, a large number of users might log in to applications simultaneously. So for example, a lot of students might use our application to attend live online courses at the same time or same point of time. And it was a challenge for our application to handle the high load of login requests. So we have to optimize the login process of our application application and the key part of the optimization were message synchronization and storage. Before 2015, we used MySQL as uh, the message storage, we used sharding nodes, making some effort to spread workload across a number of MySQL instances, and it was not so convenient to scale out. For message synchronization, our application needs to pull messages from the users' conversation one by one. So when the number of users' conversation increased, the cost of the login request would become higher. Right? And as a resolution, we use Cassandra for message resolution instead. And we also optimize the you know, message synchronization as the diagram shows. We design an inbox for each user. Messages from users' uh, conversation will be pushed into inboxes so that when users log in, the application just need to pull messages from only one uh, inbox. It simplifies the login process and it reduces the cost of message synchronization. Right? And from the perspective of the conversation, as we the drawback, we, uh, every message sent to the conversation will be push all members' inbox. It means that the right operation will be amplified for, uh, by n times and, and stands for the number of conversation members. It might be large. You know? And then the right application becomes a new challenge we have to overcome. As, as you can see, we choose Cassandra as our solution. So the most important reason for us to choose Cassandra was for its uh, high rest throughput. We can say that uh, without the infrastructure like Cassandra that can handle high rest throughput, we might not choose the design of user, user in box. It was a decisive factor for our design. The second reason we was, the second reason was for its uh, scalability and we can easily scale out the cluster with no pain to accommodate the higher workload in the growing storage. And we choose Cassandra also for its availability. It was important to us. Now I'll talk about how we use Cassandra. First, we designed a table to store a conversation message and we use a conversation ID as the partition key and the conversation message ID as the clustering key. The conversation message ID was a consecutive within our conversation that enables our uh, clients to guarantee the data integrity and they also allow us to pull message by a range query at a low cost. And then we designed another ta table to store user inbox message. We use user ID as the partition key and the user use, user inbox message ID as clustering key. key. And user inbox message that was also consecutive for one user. The data of this table would be large. However, we don't have to keep them all over time. So we start a time window compassion strategy and let the data expire after a period of time to prevent the data from growing too fast. Right. And at last, for the rest throughput, we did some test. And you can see that from this table that we got through uh, the rest throughput of the cluster grow linearly along with the cluster size. OK. And and that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much Hi. for that. Go on. Hello. I love it. I love it. Um, you know, when I see others um, solving um, scale problems, that's fantastic. Um, I was having a conversation with someone before, um, and they were saying that Cassandra is hard. And I said, look, you know, Cassandra isn't the hard part. The, the hard part is the problem that you're trying to solve because you have a scale problem. 